welcome back guys another year another ea sports football game this time it's fc 25 the game will be officially released on 27 september 2024 i have an active membership of ea play it gives me a 7 day early access to the game for up to 10 hours i'll be testing the game on my rog alliance steam deck running on windows 11 this game is not compatible with steam os due to ea's anti cheat software The biggest problem in EA Sports games on PC platform is the FPS stability. I tested EA Sports NFL 25 a month ago on my ROG Ally. That game exhibited a lot of stuttering. It happens when the game transitions from gameplay to cutscene and vice versa. It led to a jarring experience. I hope FC 25 does not suffer from this. I have set the UMA buffer size to 6 GB. My Ally is running on BIOS version 441. I have installed AMD's latest beta GPU driver. It supports AFMF2. I will be enabling it in this game. It's AMD's driver level implementation of frame generation. Using a 25 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 25 watts. 900p resolution. We'll be using RSR to upscale the resolution from 900p to full HD. CPU boost disabled. Connected my Kulikit KK3 Max gamepad to Ally via Bluetooth mode. Launch the game. Size is around 48 GB. I had to manually add the game's exe file to Adrenaline. Its profile did not pop up automatically. Let's open Adrenaline. Go to Gaming. Click on the three dots here. Then click on Add a Game. Navigate to the game's install directory. I have installed it on C drive, E folder, E Sports. This is the trial version, so I did the trial exe file. If you want the full game, add fc twenty five dot exe file. Select and click on Open. Adrenaline is setting for the game. Free sync enabled. Vsync off. RSA enabled. AFM to disable for the time being. RSA status. Resolution upscaled from 900p to full HD. This game blocks after burn overlay. I'll just use AMD's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. There it is. Game settings. 900p resolution. I'll be targeting 50 to 60 FPS base FPS. Then I'll be using AFM to double the FPS. Full screen mode, refresh rate 120 hertz, uncap the frame rate, vSync off, dynamic resolution scale off, cutscene quality full frame rate, stand base here enabled, rendering quality set to high, rest of the settings set to medium, motion blur disable, start a match. I am a complete noob when it comes to FIFA game. I'll keep the gameplay short. Cutscenes in this game are very demanding. You can see we are getting around 36 to 40 FPS hitting the GPU bottleneck. VRAM uses around 5.3 GB. These FIFA games are very demanding on the VRAM. Yeah, match started, and you can see we are getting close to 60 FPS. The perfect scenario for enabling frame generation, any form, whether it's FSR3 or AFMF2. <laughs> Almost a goal. Hitting the GP bottleneck. Game transition from gameplay to cutscene. Didn't observe any hitching, but the FPS drop from 60 to 40. NFL 25 exhibited a lot of stuttering. Ele, a backy pun. EA really needs to look into the PC port of NFL. FC 25 seems to be running. Quite good. Not observing any hitching. Let's enable AFMF2. Look at that VRAM usage, 5.2 GB. Open Internet Software. I may have to restart the game. AFMF2 on. Okay. It's working. Status active. Search mode set to high. This will prevent frame generation from getting disabled. Performance mode quality. You can see the frame generation lag value around 20 milliseconds. It's definitely working. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. Back to the game, and you can see FPS increased to around 90. Yeah, I have to work. This is amazing. Frame generation lag value around 17 milliseconds. Input delay should not be a problem. Frame generation's effect is not easy to observe in this game as we cannot move the camera around. No harm in enabling it. Entirely up to you. Audio is not stuttering. 
50 to 60 fps during cutscenes. The animation is looking smooth here. AF2 is working. VRAM is increased as well. Look at this view. The FPS dropped to around 50 there. Let's play the game. Try to get a goal. Well, My chance. <laughs> I could not do it. Another chance. Oh no. I panicked. So good experience on RAW Galab. 900p resolution upscale to full SD. Most of the settings set to medium, render setting set to high, FPS close to 90 with AFMF2, without it, FPS was close to 60. Now I'll be testing the game on Steam Deck. No stuttering, heavy stuttering during the cutscenes. This game blocks afterburner overlays, so I have enabled Windows Toolbar. Unfortunately, even Windows Toolbar was not able to show the FPS count. I hope it works when I start the match. Lost the game. I have connected my Cosmic by Stellaris Gamepad to deck via Bluetooth mode. Set the UMA buffer size value to 4 GB from BIOS. On Steam Deck, we cannot set a UMA buffer size value higher than 4 GB. It's a big limitation when it comes to running newly launched AAA games. They consume around 5 to 6 GB of VRAM, even on low preset. My Steam Deck is running on latest Windows APU driver that was released on 15 August 2024. In game settings, 800p resolution, display mode full screen, frame rate 60 FPS. I own the LCD variant of Steam Deck, its display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate only. If you observe a lot of stuttering during the gameplay, just cap the FPS at 30. Vsync off. I have enabled Vsync from Adrenaline overlay. Beg your pardon, Adrenaline software. Dynamic resolution scale enable cutscene quality full frame rate strand base here disable low settings motion blur off adrenaline setting for fc25 i enable radian anti lag and vsync settings from here all right the match has started unfortunately fps counter is still not working i have to play the game this way gp load is close to 90 percent VRAM is almost maxed out. I am observing few hitches. FPS seems to be in a range of 45 to 55. Cutscene. Game does seem to be playable on Steam Deck. Yeah, hitching. Animation suddenly becomes a bit choppy. Like this. Audio is not stuttering. I'll just cap the FPS at 30. Frame rate 30. Apply. Should improve the stability. You can see GP load dropped down to around 78%. Yeah, that choppiness has been reduced now. More stable experience. Starting doing the cutscene. Not the ideal experience on Steam Deck, but game is definitely playable. That's it for the video guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.